Tonight, the family of a sheriff's lieutenant, Chad Brackman, they speak exclusively to Fox 10. Loved ones remembering what he meant to them three weeks after his tragic death in Scottsdale and Brackman's wife is staying positive, now widowed twice in 20 years. Fox 10's Justin Lum is live at MCSO headquarters tonight after speaking with her. Justin. John Christina, she tells me that focusing on her mental health right after this tragedy and surrounding herself with loved ones has helped her immensely. Of course, Lieutenant Brackman's entire family is in pain, but they want people to know how proud they are of the man he was. Always would come up to me in the kitchen, give me a hug, and just say, hey, I love you and I'm proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. To Skylar Brackman, Lieutenant Chad Brackman is simply dad, but through countless ride-alongs, she knows her father loved to serve. He's very giving. He loved his job. He always looked forward to going to work. It's been three weeks since Chad was struck and killed by an SUV as he worked to traffic control while off duty in Scottsdale. Now his loved ones are sharing his memory. Hallmark is all that plays in our house. <laughs> Melissa Brackman never thought she'd get married again after losing her first husband, Scott Ponder, in November 2003. He was gunned down in a motorcycle shop in South Carolina. It took about 13 years to arrest a suspect, now a convicted serial killer. In my heart, I really believe that it was not going to be solved until I had Chad in my life. She says Chad knew the challenge law enforcement faced, holding her hand the moment she learned justice was coming. And then he was my husband, and so he knew how important it was to me and how life-changing that was going to be for us as well. Melissa shared her experience on her personal blog, Surviving Life After Tragedy. Now she wants to do more for new widows struggling with a life transition. I mean, it's simple things as how to go file for Social Security, how to make sure your life insurance is in place. It's just there's so much that people just don't realize. Chad Brackman's legacy, his wife, daughter, son, and two stepsons held his photo on a California beach during Thanksgiving holiday, mourning together. Melissa says she will never regret this love. I would do it all over again, even if I knew I was going to lose him, because I was able to experience something that not very many people get, and I got it a second time. And if you'd like to help the Brackman family as well as other families of fallen deputies and officers, head to fox10phoenix.com for more information on how to donate. Live at MCSO, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.